Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. Tonight's topic is going to be when the new supply realizes their role. Think about that for a minute. Guys, if you like the content, please subscribe. So first of all, the new supply, what, it, what or who is the new supply? The new supply most times is a person or individual that is now providing the narcissist the ability to regulate themselves. In other words, the new supply is a person who is occupying the time of the narcissist, being their punching bag, being their person, their sounding board, being the person that does things for the narcissist, being the person that is there for the narcissist, basically being an extension of the narcissist. The thing is, the new supply does not most likely have the education on narcissism. That's why they are the new supply. Because if they had education on the narcissistic abusive cycle and that perhaps they are with a narcissist, I'm certain they would run for the hills. Now that we have the new supply definition out of the way, the new supply, who they are, we don't know, or maybe you do know. Point being, they are in for a not good time, let's put it that way. And the new supply may, may believe that they've hit pay dirt or they've just found the love of their life or the best employee in the company or the most amazing friend of all time or the best uh, church member or clergy goer or clergyman, whatever it is, or best person in the organization, whatever, whatever the new supply is, the new supply does not have the education on narcissism most likely. And this relationship with the narcissist and the new supply, keep in mind the, the relationship usually goes through the euphoric stage and or love bomb stage. That's when everything's rosy and the person can do no wrong in the eyes of the narcissist. That's when they walk on cloud nine and they believe that everything is puppies and rainbows. Then comes the devaluation stage, then the discard and perhaps a hoover, wash, rinse, repeat. That's the life cycle of a narcissistic abusive cycle. That's exactly what it is. But the new supply, many times they think they found the perfect person that they want to strike up a relationship with in, in whatever capacity. Maybe it's a business relationship and this person seems to know to have all the answers and they have all the resources and this is going to be incredible and you can't wait to sign on that dotted line. And when the new supply does sign on the dotted line with the narcissist, that's very similar. I'm talking in a business relationship. That is very similar to the wedding bells when they ring and the narcissist sank their dirty fangs into the unsuspecting person who was the new supply and they got married. It, it's I'm equating, they're not the same, but it's similar in a narcissistic relationship because both in both uh, aspects you signed a contract and what will happen during that contract for the duration of the relationship is one person will benefit and the other person will be absolutely struck from the resources. They're, all the resources will be diminished and depleted. And that is what happens in the business place. It's exactly what happens in marriages and romantic relationships, friendships, sibling relationships, uh, every way, everywhere all over the world. But the new supply, most times they do believe that they found the perfect person or the perfect opportunity like to strike up that business relationship. What they don't understand is that things are about to get not only murky and foggy and hazy, but there are, there are going to be many red flags that will pop up that they will most likely ignore and they will not trust their intuition and they will not trust their instincts just like you did. And they will also understand that it's many times it will be easier to not confront this person who turns out to be a narcissist. In other words, to not call them out and say, hey, why aren't you paying the bills? Why aren't you working? Why aren't you doing this, this, or this? Like we, we committed to this business partnership or relationship and you're not, you're not doing your part. Keep in mind the new supply realized this slowly over time during the devaluation stage that things aren't quite going their way. That even though they signed on the dotted line for whatever capacity, the relationship was, was uh, intended to be, that it's not working out that way, that perhaps the wedding vows were meant one way to you, who, who, who was the new supply I'm talking about, and they're totally, they mean something totally different to the narcissist. Same thing in the business relationship. When you sign on the dotted line, even though you agreed to the terms and the, the uh, stipulations, that's what a good, kind-hearted, trustworthy individual does. The narcissist doesn't see it that way. They just see that you sign and you're going to keep your end of the bargain up, but the rules don't apply to them. Why would they possibly apply to the narcissist even though they sign their name on the dotted line? It doesn't matter. They don't care. They never have. They never will. So why I'm saying that is because they're going to circumvent 
accountability. They're, they're going to circumvent the rules. They're going to circumvent the reality of truth. They're going to circumvent any, anything they possibly can that doesn't allow them to get what they want. In other words, they're going to manipulate you and they're going to manipulate the new supply. And it's only a matter of time that the new supply realizes, wow, like uh, this isn't what I signed up for. I did not marry this person or engage in the business relationship or friendship to have it be a one-sided relationship. I didn't. And they're going to slowly realize that, that their role in this relationship, it's to do one thing, and that's to be a host so that the parasitic narcissist can take from them and can smear campaign them and can devalue them and can abuse them behind closed doors in the public every way possible because that's what the narcissist does. And this new supply who once had hopes, dreams, aspirations, goals, plans with the narcissist, again in any capacity, they're realizing that these things slowly are not happening and that future faking is taking place and they're being gaslit. Maybe they're experiencing rage fits, maybe they're experiencing the silent treatment, maybe they're experiencing ghosting. There are so many terms and definitions in the glossary of narcissistic abuse that you need to learn post-narcissistic relationship. And my hope is you're getting them on my channel and many others. And again, thank you very much for being here. The point being, eventually the new supply, whether they are in the devaluation stage or they got discarded, they will be replaced. By whom? That's right, another new supply, which is exactly what is happening right now across the world as you're watching this video. No matter what you think, perhaps you were the new supply and perhaps you were in the relationship, you were replaced eventually. Remember those days? Yes, you were. And that replacement, whenever that happened, is right now being groomed to be replaced by another new supply. Keep in mind, the new supply is literally a person who does not have the education, awakening, or awareness on narcissism and the narcissistic abusive cycle. And that's, honestly, it's most of the people on the planet. It really is. So the narcissist has many people to select from currently until we get the education out. But many times the new supply understands that their role is just eye candy or just to pay the bills or just to provide a roof over the head of the narcissist or to provide support or to be the chauffeur, the pool boy, the errand boy, the vacation planner, the person to be abused whenever the narcissist wasn't regulated during the day, the person to literally put their whole life on hold while they are expected to live the narcissist's life. It's exactly how it is. And soon, as the devaluation stage progresses post love bomb and or euphoric stage, this person, who is the new supply, a couple things will happen to them. One, they will wise up and they will say, wait, this isn't what I signed up for. I need to uh, call out the narcissist or have an adult conversation with them and change, th change things. And they will do that and they will try and it will fail because any intelligent conversation that involves the narcissist having to change themselves, let's say it that way, or actually behave properly and do what they say they're gonna do, it's not gonna work out. So what the narcissist will do during those conversations, they will provide word salad and they will just spin the rhetoric around so the person who is the new supply will not even know what's going on because they went in the meeting to talk about A, B, and C and when they left they weren't talking about anything like that. Most likely this person who was the new supply experienced a rage fit or word salad or was being blamed for something they did months or years ago. The point is you can never reason or rationalize with the narcissist and the new supply is realizing this and or has realized this and they realize that what their role is, it's just to be a punching bag. It's to be a person that is to be abused behind closed doors. It's exactly what the narcissist wants and needs and that's what they were doing before they met the new supply and that's what they're doing with the new supply, even though right now it's in the devaluation stage. And that's what they will be doing as the new supply is discarded and or replaced again. The cycle continues, that's exactly how these people live. But it is very disheartening when you are in a relationship with an individual who you believe is one person and they turn out to be somebody completely different. So many times this happens, so many times people's expectations and or reality of a certain individual that perhaps they grew up with, it turns out to be that this person isn't at all what they seem to be. It's just that as they got older and this person who was a narcissist, of course, they experienced the aging narcissist. They just show their cards more because they have less to care about and they've been treated as if, as if they were entitled their whole life, so why would they change now? Now, I'm throwing at, a, at you a lot of information for this video and this is on purpose. It's to let you know that the new supply is not being treated any better than you. If you think that they are, think again, they're not. No matter what length of the relationship of the new supply is having or had with the narcissist, it may seem like it's all puppies and rainbows on the exterior, 
But if you were in a toxic, narcissistic relationship, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Everything that glitters isn't gold, and everything that appears isn't real. And the narcissist thrives on smoke and mirrors and keeping people in the fog and keeping little groups or sects of people, that's S-E-C-T-S, -E sects of people, separate. So they always keep people in the fog and confused and bewildered and not knowing and walking around on eggshells and doubting themselves and not believing in their abilities. That's what the narcissist wants until, again, they get the replacement for the new supply. The new supply eventually will realize that this, whether it's when the new supply is in the relationship with the narcissist or after they are discarded and they come through the fire and do the research and find channels like mine and many others and educate themselves, that's when they're like, oh my goodness, I remember that. That's what that was. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. And that's, that's the whole purpose of the community, of the channel, to educate each other, to share our wisdom, our experiences and insight, and to help raise awareness for narcissism and the narcissistic abusive cycle. But the new supply, eventually, because most people on the channel have experienced this, they will, they will say to themselves, wow, all I was, I wasn't loved. I wasn't shown any empathy. I wasn't shown anything of value. All I was doing was being an object. I was an opportunity. I was being seen as, as something to be subservient to this person who was and or is the narcissist. In other words, my role was to basically sit back, take it, while giving, giving, giving. The narcissist was taking, taking, taking all my resources until I had nothing left of value to provide or to offer. And of course, until the narcissist moved on from another unsuspecting individual, which in turn turned out to be the new supply. So guys, this is a cycle that continues on and on until you break it yourself, until you actually are discarded or end it, and you understand your self-worth, your self-value, you practice self-love, and you absolutely begin to heal and understand your value. Because the narcissist did take advantage of you for a period of time, which was the duration of the narcissistic relationship, but no longer, my hope is no longer you're in that and you're out and you're removed and you're healing and or have healed. And again, before I close the video, if, if any of you are thinking, wow, the new supply it looks like they're just living on cloud nine, they're having a great time, and wow, that's just, no. All it is is it's the euphoric stage or the love bomb stage. And remember, behind closed doors, that's when most of the abuse happens. You were there once. You won't be there again. God bless you. Guys, I hope you liked the video. I loved doing it from beautiful Costa Rica. This is Andrew. Namaste. Have a great evening. Stay true. Stay blessed. Continue to become awakened and aware. And understand that the new supply is having it. They're not having a good time. And they will wake up eventually. It's my hope that they will realize that they are their role in the narcissistic relationship. It's just to make the narcissist look better, feel better, get all the resources from this new supply until they have nothing left to offer. That's exactly how it works. Guys, no matter where you are on the planet, I love you, God bless you, you are not alone. Have a great evening and I will talk to you tomorrow. Stay true, stay strong, stay on the path, continue to become awakened and aware, and I know I said that before, but you're always gonna be moving forward each and every day. God bless you, I'll talk to you tomorrow.